Today we're going to be taking a look at the Curt 2 bike platform rack for inch and a quarter and two inch hitches. Part number C1805. The Curt platform rack can carry up to two bikes, ranging from mountain bikes to road bikes to some kid bikes and alternate frame bikes as well. One of the best features about this bike rack is the fact that it can tilt away from the vehicle with both bikes still attached to gain rear hatch access. To do that, we'll come to the base here and you'll see there's two pins, one smaller and one larger. The smaller one can hold this in place while we remove the larger pin. Like so. Then pushing up slightly on the bike rack, we'll pull our smaller pin. Then holding onto the bike rack, not the bikes, we'll let it come down. And now we have full access to our rear hatch to get what we need. And we have plenty of space on either side to do so. How the bike sits in place and it stays in place is gonna be this frame hook up at the top, which is padded to ensure there's gonna be no scratches or abrasions on the frame of your bike. And the frame hooks are ratcheting, so you just push them down in place to hold your bike in place. And these frame hooks do lock in place for an additional security feature to keep your bikes on your bike rack. The wheel cradles are adjustable to accommodate bikes of different sizes and shapes and to help out with loading and unloading. And the maximum tire width you can have is gonna be three inches. Now to put it in the suitcase position, we're gonna have two pins at the base here where our wheel cradles are. You may need to move the wheel cradles out of the way so once you fold this up, it'll go up over this ledge here. So we'll release the snapper pin there, pull out the pin, push it up, and line up the holes on the side here, and push our pin back through. And now that's something that you would have it in once you're finished using the bike rack and you can take it out and put it in your garage for storage. Now at the back in the loading position, our final position is gonna be its folded up position or flat position. To do this, we'll have to fold our mask all the way down. Do that. Again, we'll pull this pin at the base of the mask and fold it flat, lining it up with these holes on the side. Now with it folded flat like this, I would also like to point out, at this point you can get rear hatch access to get what you need and have plenty of space on either side to do so as well. Now to fold it completely flat up against the vehicle, we'll again come to the base here and remove that larger pin that we did earlier to tilt it away, like so. Except this time we'll just simply push it back up. And this is the folded position. Now, Normally you would have it in the folded position for those close quarter situations such as parking or putting it back in your garage and you just don't feel like taking your bike rack out. This does work with both class three and class two hitches. This has a black powder coat finish, which is actually strong, durable, and rust resistant. Now that we've gone over some of the features of the bike rack, let's go ahead and show you how it installs. We'll first place it into the hitch of our vehicle, lining up the pinholes on the side and installing our anti-rattle bolt. You wanna tighten it up to the point where there's no more shake and play in that thing. Now right now we have it in the folded up position. To get ready to load up some bikes, we'll come to the base here, release this pin and clip, like so, and we'll let our rack come down. Once we have our little pin holes lined up, push it back through. Now we need to lift up our main mast. Again, we'll come to this pin here. Release it. And lift it up, realigning the holes at the base. There's a few things we need to do before we can start loading up our bikes. We'll first press these buttons at the base of our frame hooks so we can raise them up as high as we can get them. And then we also need to loosen up these wing nuts here at our wheel mounts. And this is gonna help us better load up the bikes once we have them. Now before we load our bike into place, the little trick here is we can remove our pin at the base again, let it tilt forward, and be able to set our bike down a little bit easier. Set in the cradles there, 
bring it up, reinsert that pin, and then we can just push our frame hook down on it until the ratchet's in place. Now it looks like our wheel cradles are pretty much where they need to be, so we can tighten those down as well so they don't move. Now we can grab our second bike. Now our final step is we're gonna take our included keys here and lock our frame hooks down. Now we can take it out on our test course and show you how it looks. First we'll take it onto our slalom course. This will show you the side to side action, such as making turns or evasive maneuvers. Now we're at the alternating speed bumps. This will show you how it looks driving on uneven pavement or potholes. Finally, we're at the solid speed bumps, which simulates going into your driveway or parking lots. And there you have it for the Kurt 2 bike platform rack for inch and a quarter and two inch hitches, part number C18085. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.